Hey everyone, it's Juliana from Voices. If you're a voice actor who's looking to improve your voice acting skills, whether you're a seasoned pro or a beginner, voiceover training is the way to go. Voice actors on Voices who have training have been shown to make 13% more on a job per job basis and book 21% more jobs than those who haven't taken training. There are many ways to train from self-guided study to coach-led voiceover classes. And today we'll go over these topics so you can see what fits best for you. When it comes to voice acting classes, the world is your oyster. There are so many options available to you. You can take classes as part of a group, master classes, or one-on-one. -on -one. These days, it's common to do remote sessions or even take online courses. Before we talk about the types of training available, it's a really good idea to get some auditions under your belt before working with the coach. Time is money, so use the auditioning process to quickly learn a lot of the basics and most importantly, learn what you need help with. Coaches often like to evaluate your auditions, so make sure to do some before working with a coach. Maybe send in your first 100 auditions or so and then reach out. Now, you don't have to worry about making mistakes, Everybody does, it won't hurt your reputation, but it really helps you when you're working with the coach. Okay, so what are your options for guided voiceover training? Well, we've got in-studio training, which is highly beneficial for beginner voice actors because it's similar to actual recording sessions. When you get one-on-one -on -one voiceover training from a professional coach, you also receive instant feedback on your performance, which can be really useful. This type of voiceover training can be costly, so use the time you have with your coach wisely. Voice acting classes aren't bound by studio walls. Platforms like Zoom or apps like Skype or FaceTime open the doors for distant coaching and online coaching. This means that you can receive more voiceover training from anywhere around the world from the comfort of your own home. The great benefit of remote training is that it maintains the focus on the audio and that allows both participants to analyze the quality of the voiceover practice taking place. If you are working full time or preoccupied with other personal commitments, remote voice acting classes can be a great option. These classes are often more convenient and can be more affordable than in-studio sessions. Voiceover seminars are a fantastic idea because they allow you to network with other great professionals in your field. By attending these industry events, you gain insight on the different experiences voice actors have, allowing you to learn from each individual's voice acting journey. Finding the best voice acting coach can be a difficult task, and that's why it's best to take advantage of introductory phone calls or other opportunities to get to know the voiceover coach to make sure they're a good fit for you. I'll put a link to our coach directory down below. This directory has some of the best coaches in the industry and they are all fantastic to work with. There are some other awesome opportunities like listening to voice acting podcasts, where you can learn voiceover tips and tricks from industry insiders, such as voice coaches, clients, and other professional voice actors. And we'll add a link in the description to our own podcast, Mission Audition, where experts provide feedback on real auditions or watching YouTube videos. We post a lot of useful resources for talent, like how to choose a microphone, what is siblings, and what are plosives in your recordings. So thank you for watching everyone. If you are interested in following along with the rest of the series, please feel free to subscribe. And in the next video, we'll cover sound treatment and how to prepare your studio. As always, happy auditioning, and we'll see you on the next one.